All right, let's build a sign up. That's as that's one of the most important parts of the uh, application, I think, because when I was starting with Bubble, and uh, when I first made the uh, when I first made the sign up flow and had someone sign up, it was crazy, and I was thinking that. I really made something so i think it's and, and i had a lot of powers in my hands so maybe that's something you all would want to experience so the page we've got is column so this is going to go up let's remove this for the sake of the example we don't need that And I like open I like open source. Regular bold. Well actually not regular, but let's do eight hundred. Okay, let's go here and make it fixed width. Make sure it fits the content width. And we don't have minimum width. And same thing with the height. Boom. And we can make it go in the middle. And um, what can we do? Let's push it all down. Let's do 150 max. Actually, let's do 250. Everything else is good. And let's make it black as well. So when I create a sign up, it can either be another page. I'll show you guys how to do that. Let's put it here. And let's call it sign up, right? That's how I like to call it, or how you mean it. As well. okay. So, uh, when user clicks on sign up, there is two things that want to uh, happen. Either we direct them to a sign up page. Clone from this page. Which page are we at? I think it's index. So now this is the sign up page. Uh, let me uh, pause this and reschedule. I mean, resolve. So now I'm on a sign up page. So I'm not going to need. Uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to need this button, but I'm going to need a couple of inputs. So inputs is where a user inputs the data. So I'm going to need uh, three of them, right? Boom, boom, boom. So let's well, actually let me delete this tool. Let me make it first. So input and email. Well, let's do a full name first.
full name and let's do the same thing here next width let's do 400 min width zero well i'm doing zero at the moment but then it's up to you guys so i made it previous uh, and let's make 20 pixels down all right so we've got and let's make this input shouldn't be empty all right so you can limit the number of characters you can do a lot of different things so it's up to you like you have to you can you can uh, explore on your own so then do email input email uh, and in here content format instead of text is going to be email this way bubble knows that it's an email and we're going to do another one which is going to be password input password and it's going to be password and uh, yeah i think this is it so now i think we can uh, sign the user up but before we do that we have to add the user in the database i think i already have the user but i'm going to delete that and, uh, so basically whenever open whenever you first open up this uh, data tab here every user has email by default modified date created date and slug these are some uh, other stuff that you want to learn more later on but at the moment like for the sign up uh, purposes we need the email so we already got the email so user can have a full name as we have described uh, field type is going to be text and let's create that so password is never going to be shown in here so you don't it's, it's just happening in the back end of uh, bubble so just back end of a back end so don't worry about it so what we're going to do at the moment is, well, let's first, let's go to index page. And when some uh, user clicks the sign up, let's direct them to sign up page. So go to page, uh, page, background, pixels, project, sign up. So data to send, we don't have anything to send at the moment. It's just a redirection. And let's move. Uh, move to sign up page so in here we need to sign the user up right so we click on sign up and start an edit workflow so us on sign up when user clicks on sign up i want to assign the user up so what does it mean email is we have the input email right so input emails value is the user's email so we are going to set whatever value is going to be written in the input field we're going to define that as a value for the uh, for this specific user so password is going to be input passwords value and also what we want to do is we want to change the another field that we have is full name so full name is input full name is a value so now we can require password confirmation that means like we can have another field for uh, for the password and they have to well let me show you this confirmation um, then I'll have to just add another field, input, password, confirmation. Let's go like this. And um, let's go back to workflow. Confirmation is input, password, confirmation is value. And we can send the email uh, to a user so that they can confirm the email. So, um, let's do this you know confirmation page uh, let's leave them on the same page actually let me pause this and i'll uh, restart again so uh, what we are going to do here is uh, go to sign ups workflow and uh, well remember email yes and send uh, email to confirm the email and uh, confirmation page is going to be sign in page, which I've uh, already created. Uh, and I think we're good. I'll move to the sign in uh, page and I'll just make sure this works as well. Sign in. Sign in. And let me go to workflow. 
it's not going to be a uh, sign up it's going to be navigation data account I'll log the user in email is input emails value input passwords values password and we're good and now let me create the profile page which is going to be let's say page profile I'll copy from uh, let's say sign up and this is a profile page nope so I'm going to remove all this uh, what let's display a name and input initial content would be current users full name so now if there is a current user who has the full name it's going to be displayed here if it's not there then this text full name is going to be displayed so once we sign in we're going to see uh, that it should display my name here so let me uh, let us go to an index preview and let's let's preview the whole app that i just built yes so this is our index page home page landing page whatever you want to call it you click on sign up which is usually at the top or somewhere else so i'm going to sign up here geo this is my email address do not spam me this is my password and i'm signing up please check your yeah, so I had to move this text a little larger so that it had place space to sort of display the whole text. You see the inputs are not there anymore because we have in the workflow uh, reset inputs. So now what I have to go uh, do is I have to go to my email. You see I got the email, which is zero minutes ago, which is this text, hello. And also you can uh, make some changes to this text and it can uh, be customized. So when I click on this, it directed me to sign in page because we have identified sign in page as a confirmation email page so um, let me do this real quick boom boom sign in i mean oh shit <laughs> so i forgot to redirect on sign in so okay that's a good thing that i forgot that you're gonna experience things like this soon so sign in so i logged the user in but i never redirected them to the profile page so now i have to uh, move to page profile and now we're good so let me go to sign in directly because i'm already signed up so this is my email and this is my password so see now I'm in the profile page so this is how you sign the user up so I'm gonna uh, create another chunks of uh, nice features or nice flows that you're gonna have to use when you're building some complex application so hope this helped let me know if you have any requests for the future videos. Thanks.